so hello so in this video we'll be talking about the apoptosis the intrinsic pathway so for the definition as far as the definition goes for apoptosis it is the death of cell which occurs as a normal and controlled part of an organism's growth or development so it is a naturally called programmed cell death so it gets triggered by some intrinsic factors like cellular damage inside the cell or any dna damage so as you can see there is dna damage inside the cell so this dna damage is a part of the intrinsic pathway as this dna damage is inside the cell so it is an intrinsic signal that is the signal coming from inside the cell so this is a intrinsic signal now this dna damage is detected by some molecules known as atm and chk so this atm and chk determines or checks the dna damage after they recognizes the damage this dna damage they activates a protein known as p53 so this atm and chk molecule causes the activation of the p53 protein so this activated p53 protein now activates the bags so it activates the bags now this now this bags does what it creates pores after the activation by the p53 the bags creates pores in the mitochondrial membrane so some pores gets created on the mitochondrial membrane now from these pores the cytochrome c which is present inside the mitochondria gets leaks out so this leaked cytochrome c from the mitochondria comes to the cytosol so after the cytochrome c get released out from the pore of the mitochondria to the cytosol it combines with a protein known as apf1 so this cytochrome c now combines with apf1 and the apf1 together with cytochrome c converts the inactive procaspase 9 into active procaspase 9 so now this cytochrome and apf1 together combines and converts procaspase 9 to caspase 9 now this activated form of caspase 9 does what it converts the procaspase 3 so this caspase 9 converts the procaspase 3 into caspase 3 so this procaspase 3 which is a inactive form it get converted into caspase 3 and it is almost the final step of the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis so this final molecule that is the activated caspase that is the here it is procaspase 3 gets activated into caspase 3 so this activated caspase 3 now activates the nuclease so as you can see the final step includes the conversion of the inactive procaspase 3 into active caspase 3 now this caspase 3 does what it activates the nuclease so the inactive nuclease which is combined with an inhibitor so this is the inhibitor as i'm drawing with this green colored so this is the inhibitor attached with the nuclease now this inactive nuclease get converted into active nuclease so this inactive nucleus here gets converted into active nucleus after the removal of the inhibitor and this removal of inhibitor from the inactive nucleus is done by the caspase 3 now what we have got is the active nucleus now this active nucleus digests so now this active nucleus digests the whole nucleus and the nuclear material so this is the inactive form which gets converted into active form after the removal of this inhibitor so now this is the final step where the nucleus digest the whole nuclear digest the whole nuclear material inside the cell 
so as you can see here there is another sideway pathway so there is another pathway where the activated p53 activates the proteases so it also activates proteases and this proteases digest the proteins inside the cell so this proteases cause causes cellular disintegration so this cellular digestion is done by the proteases where it digests of all the proteinaceous material that is the cell membrane the cytoskeleton and ultimately the structure of the cell gets destroyed so there is another molecule known as bcl2 now this bcl2 molecule causes what it inhibits the bax protein so the bcl2 inhibits the bax protein and stops its functioning that is creating the pores in mitochondria so when this bcl2 protein inhibits the bax in a too high manner then the p53 protein inhibits the bcl2 itself that it acts as a feedback mechanism so when the bcl2 causes too much inhibition to the bax protein then the p50 protein inhibits the P bcl2 and stops the inhibition of bax so this is a, a this is a regular regulatory pathway that takes place in the apoptosis so this bcl2 inhibits the bax and the p53 inhibits the bcl2 so now let's take a look upon the whole process from the beginning what happened there was a dna damage and it was detected by the atm and chk after that they activated the p53 protein then it activated the bax and bax created pores in the mitochondria and from that pores the cytochrome c got leaked out and got released in this cytosol there it combined with the apf1 protein and they together converted the procaspase 9 to caspase 9 after the conversion to the active caspase 9 it converted the pro caspase 3 into caspase 3 so the caspase 9 converted pro caspase 3 to caspase 3 now this caspase 3 activated the inactive nucleus to active nucleus so caspase 3 converts the inactive form of nucleus to active nucleus so the activation of nucleus is done by the caspase 3 and this nucleus digests the whole nuclear material inside the cell meanwhile the p53 also activates the proteases which causes the cellular digestion by destroying the cytoskeleton and the cell membrane so now i want to talk about the differences between apoptosis and necrosis in a brief So the main differences between apoptosis and necrosis is that in necrosis the cell that occurs due to some external factors like some injury some infection some trauma or some toxins so these are the cause of the necrosis and leads to unregulated digestion of the cellular organ organelle and this leads to the cell death but in apoptosis what happens that the cell destroys itself in a natural pathway by more some programmed and targeted manner So in this targeted and programmed manner the cell kills itself in a natural way and this natural way of the killing of the cell is known as apoptosis and it is done itself by the cell but in necrosis it was done by external trauma or injury maybe infections or some toxins so i hope till this far you have understood the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis so in the next video we'll be talking about the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis so the cards will be here and there somewhere you just find that So let's go to the video. Bye.